All righty. Here we are. Welcome, 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 everybody, to New Earth Rising. Woohoo! We are both sitting in the New Earth. <laughs> we are coming to you from the New Earth. It's mm -hmm. happened, and we're so excited. We will now be doing our shows from the New Earth from now on. And so we hope that you appreciate and understand that it's happened. Woo! We won. <laughs> <laughs> I am Michelle Ambergy, and I'm so happy to be here with you. Everything is going as planned. We're going to be talking about some really fun stuff today. And of course, I'm here with my co-shenanigator, Sharon. And uh, we have our backgrounds all lined up because the new earth is so bright and shiny. We didn't want to blind you. Mm -hmm. So we have like toned down <laughs> little new earth backgrounds but it's exactly like this it is. we just had to we had to moderate the light because it's so bright <laughs> like us right so we <laughs> got to wear shades i know right it's so <laughs> it's so funny because well i am at the beach right now michelle has the beach right next to her right so she's always at the beach and i'm at um at the beach in Washington right now. So I said, so I thought to myself, I'm going to put the beach as my background. Michelle shows up when we meet here and she has the beach as her background. And we're like, we're, we, like you said, we are in 5D and that's where we are. Totally. Yeah. And wow, it's amazing. Couldn't be better. Yeah. Hello, yeah. everyone. Thanks for being here again. We are, <laughs> we are recording from the beach in 5D reality from the ocean. Yeah. From the water worlds of, of new earth. Yes. New earth. <laughs> we are here. We are there. We are everywhere. We are everywhere. And that's part of what we're talking about today too. You know, it's so funny, Sharon, I say this a lot when we get rolling is we have these like amazing conversations all of a sudden like, oh my God, we need to be recording this. <laughs> so we're going to try to backtrack a little bit, but we're talking about some heady stuff timelines, Mandela effects, deja vu, all that kind of stuff, because it's happening. And I'm wondering how many of you are starting to have experiences or having more experiences or more intense experiences. Um, Sharon and I were talking about just deja vu right before we got on. And she was saying that she just had one like a little bit ago before yeah. you got on. And I ago. did too. Mm -hmm. And, but it was so, it was almost like, I felt almost like I literally went through the veil and came back again. I was telling Sharon, it was like this, <laughs> <laughs> like I just literally went through the veil. I was, and I was kind of moving in slow motion because I wasn't sure what was happening. I was doing accounting work. And then I was listening to somebody talking about timelines and shifting timelines. And then he moved like right into deja vu. And all of a sudden I'm going, oh my God, I'm having deja vu. And oh, there's that paper I need. I didn't think I had anymore. It was the weirdest experience. And it's happening a lot. It's happening a lot. And Sharon, you had said that you had something too happen. Yes. What what was what happened with you? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, are we I uh oh, we're Internet. starting to break up. Yeah. Oops. Are we good? You, no. Is your internet weird over there? It said it was well. Yeah, in a condo, so it's shared. But it's um, it said it was unstable. But I I can hear you. You can't hear. You can't see or hear me. I can, I can see you and hear you, but you were freezing up. Okay. And then you'd be moving and talking, but then the sound wasn't there. All right. It was a little bit back and forth. Am I good now? Mm hmm Okay. All right. Yes. The deja vu. Your question was about the deja vu? Yes. All right. Yeah. My dog and I were out on the beach earlier and I was looking at the people as we're coming back, people sitting there because it's a beautiful day here in uh, Washington uh, on the on the ocean and people are sitting there looking out at the ocean just sitting there because it's warm enough to sit out there which is kind of unusual <laughs> up here 
and they're sitting up against logs and sitting in chairs and I don't not that many maybe 10 12 people and everyone is sitting there looking at the ocean and no one is really moving they're just gazing ocean gazing and it hit me I've seen this before I've been, it's it felt like it was almost ancient where we've done this many many times where we sit here and gaze at the ocean Ooh. it was really weird and we're all just sitting there it was almost like waiting for something i can't explain it <laughs> you know it's weird because when you're talking about that I'm feeling like everybody sits there and there's a waiting, but there's like a, a connection of the minds mm. and then being there in that. that space. That space. Yeah. yeah. And there wasn't any, and that I saw there wasn't anyone that was really communicating. There weren't kids playing around or anything like that. It was just ocean gazing with these, with people sitting here looking out at the ocean and it brought me to so actually now that i'm talking about it what i'm realizing is it brought me to so many timelines it was like a bunch of time not like it i felt there a bunch of timelines were merging and i've got goosebumps Ooh, up and down we're merging yeah. together and the only time i've ever felt this before that I like this type of thing was when i've been in in um the ceremony plant medicine ceremony and it uh, it was with psilocybin and the group that I was with there um, we had a shaman that would lead us in it I've done it three times I think and twice no twice yeah I think and we're all <laughs> sitting there she has this big picture window in in her uh, home and we're all sitting there in in the medicine gazing out of the window wow. without saying anything we're just gazing out and I realized we have done this before <laughs> and i got this intense wow. knowing that we go we go to do our job on the planet in the in the lower density then we come back here to heal or become aware of whatever it is that we um are you know where we need to be cleansing whatever it is and we sit there and we do that together and i turned to one one of the people in the group and he looked at me and i looked at him and we said he said like this is weird and, I said, and we both said at the same time we've done this before oh. we both knew that we yeah. had been there before and, and that we do this on a regular basis and it makes sense you know because ritual and ceremony and sitting in space like that used to be a very common thing right you know yeah and like i i know even like with tribal stuff you know i used to do the sweat lodges and all that kind of stuff and you would sit in quiet together and mm -hmm. then you know having a common like visual or or staring like ocean gazing which i love that gazing out the, the plate glass window on something i mean what a beautiful way to connect mind body and soul right you know yeah. Yeah, and the converging intense. timelines, mm -hmm. you know, and yep. you know, what just popped into my head too, is we're each have our own timeline, right? You know, and we're traveling parallel timelines and this is just popping into my head. I may be wrong. I may be right. Most likely right. Cause I'm a Virgo, mm -hmm. but <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it's like, we're, it's like, we're bringing all of our timelines together. And you made that comment about the people gazing and bringing timelines together and it just popped into my head. Maybe that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Merging timelines. Yeah. Bringing all of our timelines together. Yeah. Before we move on to that, because we wanted to talk about timeline manipulation, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I love that. That makes a lot of sense. And I believe that's what soul retrieval is all about, too, is bringing those timelines in. Yes. Know, bringing all that, the fragmented timelines. Um, when I also, during those ceremonies, there was a couple, I can't with psilocybin there was two but i've done other ceremonies with her in in her space the shaman, shaman space the reality at one point the reality around us disappeared and i could see the walls were a metal i knew that we were in a freaking ship yeah 
we were not in her house. Her house was a ship. It was the, it was the, um, uh, how do you put it? The facade of a house, a home, a house. But we were actually in a ship. I love it. It's, <laughs> and it goes back to what is reality? Mm -hmm. What is reality? Yeah. You know, it's like, it's, and I think that's part of what this great awakening is, is shedding these layers of what reality has been to maybe find a new reality. Yeah. You know, is it all just a different reality? Is the ship is as much a reality as the house? I mean, you start moving into that and the brain starts like going, blah, 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 it starts bubbling. Right. So we're not really moving around. We're not really going anywhere. We are telling ourselves we're doing that from a higher perspective. That is the um, the reality. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, <laughs> that's the reality is we're telling ourselves that we're moving, that we're you know that uh, we're walking on the beach, or that we're moving around and we're eating or whatever we're doing. But when when we un when we see through the veil of the reality that you know which is a, an amazing world and 5d of course where we are <laughs> good catch i know right <laughs> <laughs> then then you we see that we're actually not going or moving anywhere does that make any sense yeah we're just okay. experiencing it mm -hmm. but we're not actually doing it right. and are we actually even a something other than just consciousness yeah. experiencing something physical but like if if we're experiencing walking we're experiencing being at the beach we're experiencing eating we're experiencing you know uh, doing accounting today but who's experiencing right what is it this experiencing is it another person is it a dog is it a flea is it a cloud or is it just existence yeah experiencing itself which i've heard that said before sure and to peel away the layers of of being connected to being some type of physical form that's trippy i know right i know because it's yeah like like you're saying and so when we connect to others in this reality of what we're not really doing anything when we're connecting <laughs> we're just telling ourselves we're doing it uh wow we're guiding ourselves to do things to walk across the room or to sit here and talk to each other so in that in that sense when we connect to others are we are we really uh, we're not you know we're telling ourselves that we have this physical a connection with them or, or whatever the connection is so are we connect we're connecting to the the consciousness like you're saying michelle we're connecting to another part of that consciousness the soul that is michelle the the soul that who is whoever we're talking to at the grocery store or whoever i see on the on the beach you know or something like that we're connecting in that way through our perceptions our senses but we're really not here. <laughs> here. The senses are projections of the consciousness that we really are. Yeah. And it goes back to that holographic universe kind of thing where we're not actually this. We're just a projection of from the mind, the consciousness. Right. Of what of whatever the that existence is, which we're all one. Right. So it's the, all projections from the same one consciousness. <laughs> the infinite intelligence. Wow. Infinite yes. intelligence. Yeah. The eternal now, the eternal loving presence that makes even it makes those words that we use to describe what has sometimes been called God or goddess mm -hmm. or creator. Mm -hmm. Right. More potent to think of it that way, too. And so this is just a projection. It's a beautiful one. So I know, right? <laughs> right? Wow. What power that gives us. Yeah, it does. 
and what gets in the way of what we want and desire is the filters yeah the filters that we've put in place because of pain. And getting yeah getting maybe trapped mm -hmm. into densities right. trapped by other consciousnesses maybe yeah. but if we're all one does that really work when you look at what's happening on the planet right now there's a lot of consciousness trapping because there's a projection of marketing and sales and manipulation and all this stuff right that going to of, what we were going to talk about the timeline manipulations mm. and yeah and and that makes a lot of sense when we it, because we've forgotten we used yeah. to know this yeah we used to know this and, and i think that's part of the deal right is has been part of the deal is we choose to drop down in frequency and to experience and physical, probably physicality. swear we'll remember this time <laughs> my god i will remember <laughs> <laughs> and we are remembering we this time are. it just took a while i guess i don't yeah. know but if there is it's all just now so it's experience after experience yeah and, and you if you look at all of our experiences someone described it the other day on a she had a near-death experience and um she was showing i've seen this before too which is Oop, you're breaking up oh i think we're frozen for good now you know hit the start button or whatever on the roulette wheel <laughs> Oh, you froze up a little oh. bit there. You're frozen for about a minute. Oh, wow. That's a long time. Okay. Could you hear me at all? No. Okay. But you looked really cute. Oh, well, good. <laughs> That's all that matters, right? All right. <laughs> you projected that really well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, good, good. All right. So, um, <laughs> I just need to fix my projector. All right. So, <laughs> so did you hear the, did I, did the part about the roulette wheel come through? No. Okay. Well, she was talking about in her near death experience where she saw like lifetimes, like a roulette wheel, all of, you know, all of her lifetimes were like on a roulette wheel, each spoke in the roulette wheel was a lifetime. And she could have stopped at each one of those uh, lifetimes. And she chose to stop at this one when she came back into this life, right? And I don't, I don't remember where I was going with that. Um, but uh, oh, the now, how the only thing that's real is the now, the here yeah. and now. And so we can we can have that have that choice when we go within, get on that roulette wheel and say, hey, I want to go to this lifetime or that lifetime. Or that experience that expression and we can make new ones up all along the way too i imagine sure, sure. future and past yeah. it's all on that wheel yeah <laughs> and, and and it's fascinating because you know i know a lot of people it's neat because we're starting to understand the wording of this new earth too these okay. words of you know consciousness and matrix and hologram and you know the, all this kind of stuff and there's a lot of people, and, and we've talked about it, we've talked about it, I, I have this idea in my head too, that we're in a prison planet, that we've been trapped here, that it's been going on for a very long time, that there's a war between dark and light, a war for the souls of the God beings that those that are here of the light, you know, in true light are, are here with that and, and all this stuff. And what keeps popping into my head is, well, if we know that, why the hell do we keep coming back? Why don't we stop coming back, let them do whatever the heck they're going to do, annihilate themselves, and then we can come back to Mother Earth after it's over. And so it's kind of weird. It's like, that's one of my questions. It's like, why do we keep coming back? Why do I keep coming back? The one answer I get is love, mm -hmm. but I want more. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. it's like, it's so screwed up. Look at what's going on on this planet right now. It's like, oh my God. But it's good. It's a good thing. What's going on right now? Because it, it's all needed to be uncovered and shown in yeah. order for us to move into 5D, to yeah. be in 5D. Yeah. It's a good thing. And yeah. your question, I've asked that many, many times too. Yeah. And uh, what it's I was getting, what I got was 
um, first of all, to remember who we are, and that is love, and bring that and be that on this planet and to help though any our other parts of us because we're yeah. all part we're all yes a part. yeah other parts and, yeah and i know archangel michael is just saying too that exactly what you're saying is to help all the other parts of us and mother earth right. because mother earth is a part of us too she's an outward picturing of our nurturing mother and the abundance and all that kind of stuff for us She's yeah. part of us. The elements that are earth are within our physical bodies too. And so Archangel Michael was just saying the same thing you were saying. Yeah. Yeah. I just had a message from Yeshua the other day about that mother earth and or the, he called her mother. Well, he calls her our mother, but um, yeah, but of course that's not in the Bible, but yeah, but how she mirrors us and we mirror her. Yeah. We are mirrors for each other. She, it, um, I don't have it right here in front of me um but how we are the mother is the mirror for the child and the child is a mir mirror for the mother yeah. yeah and it makes sense because we know you know as humanity goes into this state of craziness the planet more earthquakes crazy weather and we know you know that it's being manipulated but it's all part of that same thing yeah. right we can say oh they're changing the weather, but we, if we're one, we're one, right? Either we are, or we're not, <laughs> we can't be like, well, we're all one sometimes. Cause that's what I used to do. I'm one with everything except for you, you, <laughs> you, and right. you right? We can't just pick the ones that we prefer <laughs> if we're going to be one with everything. It has to be everything. And that's what Ho'oponopono teaches us. Yeah. Yeah. Which is really amazing teachings, but Ho'oponopono yeah. teaches us, you know, if we have, if we want to take responsibility for the good that we manifest, we have to also take responsibility for what we call the bad. Yeah. For all of it. Yeah. And we're all one family, you know, it's, it's being in right relationship and you have to be honest mm -hmm. and you have to be fair and you have to be compassionate you know, and it's a lost art right now. Humanity is kind of lost that, not all of it, you know, of course, no. but then no. the other parts I don't want to be one with. <laughs> right. I, I think humanity is at this, um, this, uh, how do you put it? Um, you know, when you go through a detox and you're at that point yes. where you're like, oh, I'm so sick. Oh, I can't stand it. Oh, why did I do this kind of thing? So we're, I believe that we're at that that point right now, where, and in some area, and in some areas, you know, in a detox, you're like, oh gosh, I got rid of that crap, literal, literally. literally. Okay, that's I'm glad that's gone or whatever. But you're still at that really feeling really crappy, yes, place. And the more you stick to it, the better you feel, and then you get rid of everything that that has been piled on that you have piled on that we've piled on uh, within our um, consciousness and our energy fields and body and everything like that. Yeah. And so that's what we're doing. And that's like when you detox too, your mind is set free. Yes. That's one of the things that I always notice and wait, I'm getting excited. We talked about this before we, we got on too, was about doing, it's kind of time for detox, maybe a little parasite detoxing. And I look forward to it because my, I literally feel like my mind has been set free when I do that, because it's all of a sudden it's like, oh, wow, check out how bright the colors are, right? <laughs> oh, hey, look at the dust in the corner. I haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> Clean it up now. Mm -hmm. But yeah interesting yeah it's like we're in a great big giant parasite detox we are as a, I mean, as a whole look at what's going on around us these are parasites they're the ones that have the parasites and it, i hate to say they and s but it's true kind of in a way in a way you know we've yeah. helped we've helped it along because we and i would say that a lot of it is not our fault because it was so manipulative yeah. humanity has been manipulated so much yeah in the last few hundred years especially you know Ooh, if not thousands longer. of years yeah if not longer, but really probably. yes the last but and so now here's here's another part that i get stuck on too so we're all one 
So are we one with the truly evil beings that are doing what they're doing right now? Is there, is that a oneness or are we one under the, the light of what we would call God? Right. You know, it's like, like what, what exactly are we talking about? Are we one with that negative entity? Are they part of God consciousness? Are they a separate thing? What is oneness? Oneness with what? Right? Right. It's my understanding. And this is what I've been remembered and taught is that um, there is no, nothing apart Other. from God. Right. And um, that the reason that these entities are um dense darkness uh Probably. feels like it's separate from us is because it's in a very dense um yeah. vibration yeah. right and we um mm. so there's mm -hmm. light and dark we live in a world of a existence of duality so there has to be light and dark we the only problem is the only <laughs> we go back to just light <laughs> the only problem is it got out of balance yeah, so far. Out right. Of and so that's why we're here. And what we're doing, what we're doing is to bring it back into balance. Yeah. 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 And that's what Archangel Michael just said. And I think, I think you said this earlier too, when we were talking that it's the dark ones are just the ones that have lost their connection mm -hmm. to the light, to God. If you yeah. Will. It's, I know it's God covered can be up. Such a trigger for, yeah. Right. It's covered up and that spark hasn't, you know, that, that spark isn't there anymore. And yeah. so, and we see people like that. We see people like that all around us too. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, I mean, uh, in, you know, I live close to Portland where I see, unfortunately, people on the streets that are so addicted to drugs and, and the homeless where yeah. that has their light has been, I'm not going to say extinguished because there's always light in someone, but yeah. it's been so covered up. With. And you can see it in the eyes. Yeah. I know I saw someone a few weeks ago and I looked in their eyes and I just got a chill to my bone and they were a perfectly nice person, but yeah. there was, what was in there was almost gone. Yeah. And it actually was a very handsome young man, to be honest with you, but yeah. it was like, whoa. Yeah. It's too bad because these people, unfortunately that, um, and I, um, it, it just makes me sick to see these people on, on the streets that are, especially with the, the meth and things like that, you and know, fentanyl that, and fentanyl. Yeah. That are, uh, um, I don't know about if that's such an, a bad addiction like meth is, but is it well, okay? Well, they will, you know, uh, in that part of us, I'm not going to say they anymore, but that's, that's our that's how name. we talk right now right it's hard yeah. to this is awesome <laughs> what were we talking about we oh, were talking about off. the other the the being cut oh yes off, the, the, the other part of the other parts of us the other yeah. parts of us um yes. work really hard on changing that language when that's them and us um the other parts of us and um and now the music's going off in my phone Boy, lots of <laughs> well, messages we here. Hitting jingle in somebody's jingles. Lots Good. of messages, right? That's Mustang good. Sally just came on my phone. Okay. All right. They're saying, keep going, girls. Keep going. So the other parts of us, the ones we don't care for, <laughs> our shadow selves. Oh man. Ooh, that that just triggered me. I was I, I just wanted to almost go no. And I, it's true. Our shadow selves. Yep. Yep. It is being played out before us. Mm -hmm. That fallen part of us. Right. Yeah. And having compassion, I guess, um, for our shadow selves. Because we, we have compassion for our shadow self. Why can't we have compassion for our other shadow selves? Because they're scary. <laughs> <laughs> that's why <laughs> but we help create it i know see that's the thing when i had my plant medicine um experience has been what two years ago oh my gosh it it was what i heard felt and was just imbued with is you are the creator and you are the creation you are both 
And it was like, okay, yeah, that's a good idea. But I started having experiences, right? And what you just said falls right in there with that truth is that we're all, it's all, it goes back to we're that consciousness that from which everything is projected. And that's part of that too. My brain is starting to fizzle. <laughs> oh, you're turned off. Did you mute yourself? <laughs> I did. <laughs> We know that we're taught getting on some good topics when stuff like this happens. I mean, seriously, it's like know, when it right? won't turn on or it gets interrupted or where things are going. It means we are talking about important stuff. Yeah, I feel the energy is really intense right now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I just wanted to say, um, I was trying to say that what you were talking about just reminded me of, um, or I saw this image, this you know how things play out in your mind um being at the beach helps a lot <laughs> with that with clearing your head yes right and um when because i mentioned this when we were talking before when i was going through my quickening kundalini kundalini awakening which i didn't know what was happening uh with yeshua and he was showing me everything that's happening now i saw all this Ooh. but i didn't know it was future i thought it was then and th now the now uh and um i was experiencing it so to speak in oh, the wow. now and that's what he was showing me that or, or I, I, that <laughs> everything's in the now that's yes. what we were talking about it's in the now and i realized just now <laughs> in the now it's being played out the movie is being played out now from what i was experiencing so it didn't have to happen all at once like it did for me 20 something years then, ago. And yes. And this is the same thing that people are talking about with what's going on with uh, this war for the for the um, for the world, the Great Reset and everything. Um, and it's we're watching it's already happened. Yeah, we're watching it play out. We're watching kind of the movie kind of thing, you know? And so we're watching it play out. And so and it's holographic. Yeah. <laughs> it's so holographic. It goes back to that. And you know, it was interesting. You know, I was, ever since I was a little girl, I knew I was going to be here for end days, right? You know, whatever that really means. Revelation. Wow. I studied wow. this stuff when I was young. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done like Bible studies, I think three times. And particularly focused on revelations because I knew I would be here during this really, really important time. I knew that it was kind of why I was here. I mean, I I wouldn't have, have said it that way when I was young, but now that I'm older, it's like, that's why I'm here. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing, but I know that I'm supposed to be here. But it is, again, it's watching it play out. It's watch, It's like we filmed the movie, yeah. we edited it, we added music, we added sound effects. <laughs> it's in the can. And now it's in the theater and we're watching it. Right. And we helped uh, pick all the actors. You know? I picked all the handsome ones for okay. <laughs> anyone that wants to know. It. And I picked Sharon because she's just good. We picked each other. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. And we're, and we're killing it. This movie is amazing. It is. Every time I see another news story. Focus. Yeah. Keep our focus. We, yeah. Yeah. And it's, you know, and it's more than just sitting back and watching. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we are the actors in, we are, we have right. a role in the movie, yes. in the, the reality of what we're dealing with. <laughs> but I keep forgetting my lines. <laughs> I no, start I start doing the bad people's lines, you know, where it's like, ah, this is so stupid. What am I doing here? Rah. You know, oh. and it's like, oh, wait a minute. Those aren't my lines. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that's um, when we get caught up in. In the um, the mojo that's or the, that bad mojo that's yeah. being bombarded at us. With the, the other matrix. thinking, thinking that it's real and timelines. Uh, Timeline. We're talking we about, about timelines 
it's you get caught in another timeline, but it's all part of the same movie. Like right. the movie, The Matrix. Yes. <laughs> I got to go watch it again now. So we were talking about timelines and um, I wanted to just touch on this one gal I used to follow a long time ago, 20 something years ago. I always go back to that time because that's where things just boom, blew open for me. Mm -hmm. And now we're lit. Uh, we're living it right um her name was starfire tour and, um, and she uh, and this was before social media was the way it is now so i was on her social media group and there weren't a lot of us uh, maybe a couple hundred or something at that time and she talked about timeline manipulation mm -hmm. and that she could tell she was teaching us how to tell just like in the matrix when there was a timeline um, interference, a glitch. In the Matrix, we talked about where Neo sees a black cat walk across his yes. path twice. And there, and he goes, oh, that's weird. And they say, what? And he tells them, they're like, uh oh, you know, something's going on. That means that something, they inserted an agent into the Matrix. But she talked about how when you, something like that, like a deja vu, oh my gosh. We were just talking about deja vu. Yes. Yes. When the deja vu happens. Some kind of a that was that's what it was. The deja vu. Because he, he said day oh, that was deja vu. Deja vu. Woo, and we just had him. All right. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Okay. And you and I kind of had it like it was today, right? Yes. It was we had earlier today. today. Mm-hmm. Do, so, do, 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 right. Do, 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 do. These are timeline glitches. So wow. And that we both showed up in the ocean. We totally. We're living it. We're living the dream, baby. I know. So so the question is, because when she talked about it, oh oh, she said that if it's a um some kind of a if it's a big timeline manipulation then it can create and most of the time does create earthquakes those type of upheavals and we just had earthquakes a few days ago around the planet uh, in in big our one. country i think there was a big one in georgia there's a whole bunch of birds flying i know squirrel but just tons <laughs> of birds are flying by Wow, this is crazy. And yeah. um, tons. Of, so, um, you know, what happened a couple of days ago? What happened a few days ago? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So she talks about take, pay attention. Pay attention to these little get glitches, deja vus. And, um, you know, maybe now that we're talking, Michelle, maybe we can use that. And that might be what she's, she was talking about. We can use that as a um, jumping off place for moving up to a much higher timeline. Interesting. I like that because it makes sense. Mm -hmm. It makes sense because why all of a sudden did reality become fluid like that become, right. I mean, cause that's how I experience it. Like this, like kind of a thing where it's like, it's not, this is i don't even know what the word is fluid we need new language for this but fluid it feels fluid it feels mm -hmm. like that and it's just interesting too that we both had this experience we both showed up with the water we both are you know we're like about talking this you're reading that book you're reading i'm listening to this guy we're doing this all like today at the same time during this glitch after we just had these major earthquakes there's been, I know, two huge ones down Papua New Guinea, yeah. off the um, east coast of um, uh, Australia down there. Huge ones, like 7.8 or something. Yeah, I saw 7.8 or 6 mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, the book I'm reading now is called The Great Reset, The World. No, the it's backwards. And the <laughs> and the I war for the from, world and the war for the world from alex jones mm. and i know alex jones has a, is very controversial but i've been following him for a very long time and um what he's been saying for a very long time is coming to fruition and this is really good it he's he's has a lot of humor in here 
uh, and um, it's a really good book. And I think you know it's what's good to be aware of what's happening, you know, yes. and, I, and don't take my word for it. Don't take his <laughs> word for it. Go with your own intuition. But there's there is a war for humanity. Mm -hmm. We we have beautiful souls and it stands to reason those who have fallen away, those who are disconnected, you know, their, their nature, their creation is the, we'll call this God, right? The, the, the impulse is to return to that, to right. need that for sustenance, right? We talk about that parasitic energy and we're the closest thing to that. So instead of getting it direct from source, it's, from those who sense. still carry the source, who are right. still connected to the source. And so it makes sense that that would be what's happening. Right. Wow. I know. And all the more reason to have compassion with an iron fist, but compassion. <laughs> well, we are spiritual warriors. And I always go back to Archangel Michael and what he says Mm. your truth truth is your sword and love is your shield yeah. yep it's very true and we have to stand in that and you know and that's one of the <laughs> part of the reason why i still love some of these bible warriors who are like stand in the truth of the word of god and it's like yes well, the right words of God, but yes, <laughs> you know, right? it's been a little wiggled, but yeah. And the timelines and the shifting timelines and the whole, the whole Mandela effect thing too. Yeah. Again, more timeline things. And I was watching, okay, help me with this. Nicholas Vinayaman. 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 Love him. Nicholas, I apologize. I apologize. I cannot say your name. I'm sure you've had other people have this problem. Um, and he says he, it so fast. It's hard to follow what he's saying. Like, vitamin. It. Vitamin, vitamin, vitamin. Maybe it's vitamin. <laughs> Nicholas vitamin. Got it. Okay. But he's talking about the Mandela effect and he brought up three things and he kind of blew my mind. And I've heard these things before, but I kind of was like, yeah, but for some reason today on glitch day on mm -hmm. deja vu day, I really heard it. He's talking about the thing with the Berenstain Bears. Mm -hmm. I remember because I used to read those books to my kids all the time. I love them. I was a bear person. I collected teddy bears. Everything for both of my kids were teddy bears. And we were a bear family and Berenstain Bear was part of our family. And I remember when the name changed and thinking, well, isn't that weird? Yeah. Wow. You know, all 40 books I had or 32 books I had. I must have been reading them wrong. Oh, the other one was uh, um, um, uh, Kennedy. When Kennedy was assassinated, he was talking about how he remembers four people in the car. And he went back and was were watching some videos and there were six people in the car. And I went, no, I there, there were was four. four. There were four people in the car. Two in the front and two in the back. Two in the front and two in the back. And he said that he has been trying to find that video. I never heard about that. Yeah. And oh, then wow. actually what it's called, the, the Mandela effect is the whole thing about some people remember Mandela getting out of jail. And some people remember him dying in jail. I remember him dying in prison. And I remember him getting out because he said that that like like he had, he spoke these words if i die in jail with the bitterness in my heart i've learned nothing mm -hmm. right and I, that, I can't quote that but that was basically what it is right. and i remember him getting out yeah I remember, I remember him getting out but i thought at the time he died in prison i knew that oh, he wow. had died i remember hearing that he had died in prison reading it hearing it experiencing it that he had died in prison and then he's like, and then I'm in that timeline. We're in that timeline of where he actually gets out of prison. And it really. Th Oop, we froze again. Do, 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 pa, pa, pa. do, 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 do,
what's going on? Do, 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 do. Well, you froze on me this time. I guess we're not allowed to talk about. Well, we did and we are going to. So on whatever's <laughs> coming in and doing that. Exactly. We will not be tamed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was singing the tequila song. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Tequila. Oh, I couldn't even. <laughs> well, we are at the beach, so yeah. That would have oh, to. No, I can't do tequila anymore ever since I got so sick on it many, many moons ago. I drank so much in Mexico one time; the rocks were glowing. Ooh. I haven't drank it much since then. <laughs> I was sick for like a week, but it was really cool when I was on it. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's psychedelics right there. Yeah, I think there was a worm involved there somewhere, but so, oh, that's what happens when you drink tequila. Yeah, tequila's, uh, ooh, yeah, gives me the chills to think about it. I can't even drink alcohol anymore. It's like, yeah, me either. Mm -mm. But yeah, the whole Mandela effect, that whole thing's changing. Um, and, and I'm wondering with, with our viewers, like, have you guys had these experiences, like the deja vus, the, the Mandela effect kind of things? So I, I, I would think it'd be really interesting to hear from you guys. Yes. Because it's like the more of us that talk about it and, sh and share, the more of us are going to remember these things, because if one of us went through it there, it's a timeline shift. It's not like just, we had a timeline shift. Right. I mean, it has to affect the masses, right? Yeah, I would think. Oh yeah, because um, we're not an island for sure. You so. have one behind you, though. <laughs> Those are clouds. Like I disappeared. Oh, I thought there was an island back there. I don't think so. Oh, maybe it's a boat. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Island boat, whatever. That's my that's my boat waiting for me. I as I get done here, like. <laughs> Yeah, I've got tequila waiting for me <laughs> and a pool boy to feed it Yay, to me. Okay. Cabana boy. <laughs> yeah, cabana boy, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, this is so cool. And it all boils, it all comes back to the mind. Mm -hmm. What's happening in the mind? And when you go that route and then you look at what's happening on this planet, you look at like, I don't even know if I want to tap onto this one, but just like what our leaders on this planet are doing. It's like, what is happening? How did this spin so far off the axis mm -hmm. so quickly? Yeah. Or seemingly so quickly. Well, it was pretty quick. Uh, yeah, I believe they're playing a role to help uh, the great awakening. Awakening. This is, to yeah to spin us off, to make people absolutely insane, crazy, and violent, and cuckoo? Mm, maybe not that, no. Uh, I mean, I'm sure that's the, um, I don't, you know, no, none of us have the, all the answers, but uh, I feel that this is a, this is my take on it. What's going on right now is, uh, like we were talking about, is the, playing out of this the awakening of humanity bringing us into uh, remembering our, our sovereign selves um, and fighting for basically our sovereign selves our freedoms yeah. as a sovereign being yeah. and so we have to we have to we can't be ignorant anymore we can't keep our heads in the sand so what i understand is it's um like we were talking about before it's been done it's already been it's already happened in the higher timelines we are watching it and being a part of it in these in in these timelines and the more um the more we open up and become aware of it i realize that this is part of the movie or part of the part of the that everyone has a role right right okay everyone has a role uh and it's part of that then the more we our mind opens up the more of the matrix we are moving through 
to get to the higher matrices. Shedding, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, and then, uh, it's, yeah, part of that and part of the Great Awakening is the only thing I can say. I mean, uh, my my piece would call it the uh, the Golden Age, the Grand Plan, right. things like that. Right, New yeah. Earth. New Earth. Yeah. <laughs> because it's, you know, my little my little nerdy brain is like, I want to take every single thing that we talked about today, all the all the 15 different pieces of it, and I want to make it all fit together. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think we have, like you said, we don't have all the answers, of course, yeah. because it's consciousness, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's like, today has been quite a day of mind opening, expanding. And it's interesting too, because we know the power of numbers and number sequences and frequency. When all of this was going on, the deja vu, the listening to the vitamin guy, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Nicholas. Um, and then talking to you, you had a similar thing the whole time I was doing accounting work. And so I was numbers, 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 adding numbers, 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 numbers. And all those different frequencies and stuff that go with the numbers. <laughs> yeah. Numbers are everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Matter of fact, a lot of people, because I know you're a numbers girl too. You were mm -hmm. a bookkeeping at one time too, but yeah. I, I'm a bookkeeper. I say an accountant, but I was CPA for like this amount of time yeah. and I went, screw that crap. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Just a title. Doesn't matter. Yeah. But, okay. um, it seems like a lot of people that are in the spiritual realm were accounting people in the past. Really? Yeah. I know a lot of them. Oh, okay. A lot of them. Yeah. Well, Preston's a, a book or a bookkeeper too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Preston. Yeah. Yeah. And my good friend, Danielle Hewitt, mm -hmm. she, um, her and her husband have an accounting firm. You know, it's what they do, but she's a very beautiful soul. That's, you know, has had a, a beautiful, um, she called it the temple, the temple of light here and, and sponsored and nurtured and, and all kinds of spiritual people and classes and all that stuff and in her own growth too. So maybe and, it has to do with, uh, keeping us balanced activating. and yeah, activating the numbers do that. I mean, numbers are all about balance to me yeah. and, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing interesting it all goes together right so what I, I don't know if i finished what my thought Ooh. before but what i was going to say was unless i didn't just don't remember with this movie that we're watching it has to play out it has to play yeah. out to help people uh realize okay this is um what can happen and do you want this timeline yeah with yeah. the uh with the, the great reset yeah this is what it's all about. Yeah. And you know, the, the idea with the reset too, that's interesting is people I've been hearing people talking about, there's been many resets. Yes. You know, no one, the flood thing was a reset, you know, mm -hmm. and we're, mm -hmm. we're becoming really um, a lot more information coming up about Tartaria mm -hmm. and mud floods in the time of the giants and the right. dinosaurs. Yeah. Right? But like we don't need to do that anymore. We don't need to do that anymore. Yeah. That's what the awakening is all about, right? I hope. Unless we awaken and they're like, welcome to the 5D. Okay, now the next reset is. No. I'm like, no more reset. <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. If you guys keep resetting everything. <laughs> we work so hard. It reminds, makes me think of, and we talked about this being in a computer game, right? It makes me think of in the computer game when it gets to where it gets to hard uh, yeah too difficult and um and also maybe too many uh um viruses get in it or something and you just hit the reset button <laughs> or it comes up and went fail start over how many players <laughs> <laughs> or groundhog day oh yeah like okay i'm going to beat this crap okay i'm gonna be some crap <laughs> I know as long as it gets a little bit better each day, a little bit better each day. And that sun is really the sun is setting. Here. I know I can right. see that shining on you. Yeah. So as long as it gets a little bit better each day, yeah. you know, a little, you know, we, I always say it's not a good day if I haven't learned something new. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And and absolutely. so each, as long as each day is we try something new or we step outside our comfort zone, uh, we smile to someone that we wouldn't normally smile at. We, you know, do something to lift our frequency yeah. each day. Be passionate. Then we don't have to worry about being <laughs> somebody hitting or all of us hitting the reset button. <laughs> the great reset is just the finish of the movie and the start of a new one. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a different. Yeah. Except mm -hmm. I don't want to be part of this reset. No. Oh, is that a bad reset? Oh, yeah. That's the Klaus Schwab reset. Oh. That's why people need to read this. This is a Klaus Schwab. Yeah. And it's, um, uh, yeah we don't want that's this one. one i do not want to be one with no, i don't care is, what the rules are this is not a good reset yeah this and he makes not. it sound like it is you know with all these flowery language and that's what alex jones does he breaks it down and it's like okay so what this means what this is telling me is and he uses the word stakeholder a lot he says, whenever you hear the word stakeholder, you should think of it as a weapon Schwab and company will use to deprive a person of their rights, basically stakeholder or, or corporations, you know? And um, so, yeah. And when you hear so stakeholder- you, you give me what's yours and I'll hold it for you. Yes. You, yep. yeah, what, what is, and I'm sure people have heard this, that he's, Schwab has said, um, uh, you will own nothing and you will like it. Yeah, you will be happy. You will be happy. Yeah, ask um, China how that's working for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. So, anyway, it's um, it's good stuff. And I knew about, you know, I know about Klaus Schwab. I've heard about him for quite a while now. And our audience is very smart, so I'm sure they have. But this is, and if you haven't, go look it up because it's everywhere. All this yeah. stuff is public knowledge. That's the thing. That's the thing that's that's really mind blowing. Is everything is public knowledge. It's just learning how to find it right? Where to find, where to find the information, how to find it and using your intuition when getting into it too. Yeah. Well, he's written, Klaus Schwab has written books and um, the, the first one was called the fourth, Rev, the fourth industrial revolution um, and uh, something like that. Uh, but it didn't take off the way he wanted it to. So then he wrote a sequel to it with more flowery, flowery language, you know, to try, and it's all manipulation. And um, so, you know, doesn't this sound good? Wouldn't this be good? So I love the way he breaks it down and um, makes us see through the bull crap, you know? Crap. Yeah. And he, Ooh, and it, I need to check it out. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully we won't get that far that we won't have to, to wade our way out of getting that far into this, that yeah. thing, because it's looming, you know? Right. And that's why, that's why it's so important for us. And this is a 20, he just, this book was just released. Um, so uh, About a year ago, no, just now, just, it just came out. Oh, wow. Yeah. It just came out. Um, so so yeah being aware awareness is always the key yes was always told me that awareness is the key mm. uh, and and you know it doesn't mean we have to go out and do something you know and drastic just be aware of what these yeah. what's going on around us and not yeah. buy into it and like you were saying michelle and um having that awareness within you and that connection because he also talks about because Klaus schwab is an atheist uh george soros is an atheist they fully admit it um well they don't believe in the god we believe in they don't believe in that no that's somebody else but um so if you notice people who are um angry miserable um do not um you know all these things that are the negative side i guess the dark side don't have a um mm -hmm. that god stream yeah. flowing through them yeah. don't have a belief of faith it doesn't have to be our god but any you know an infinite intelligence something uh you know consciousness the universe whatever it is and have mm -hmm. that within them that flow and they're so disconnected and that's why they're capable of manipulating to the levels that they are and do the horrible things and 
I mean, unleashing a virus and then a yes. jibbity jabbity on an entire population of an entire planet. Yes. Wow. I mean, gosh darn it, you got to give them credit. But, right. You know, it's like that, that was well done. Horrible idea, but well done, you know. It's but like, it didn't wow. go like they wanted. No, it did not. And it why? Not because enough of us were aware mm -hmm. and said, no. Yeah. You know, we're not doing that. Yeah. We're the C 19 was supposed to kill a lot more people yeah. than it did. Yeah, and there's a lot, a lot of people that didn't buy into their yeah. uh, lies. A lot of people. Well, that's so. why they had to throw them in the hospital and murder them. Yep. But that's a whole other video. That's, that's, next that's week. on Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a Rumble. Matter of fact, we're probably going to snip that part out. So. <laughs> Well, have the, the, remember when there used to be edits when people were talking they, they'd be like and then and then the voice would come over and go blah, blah, blah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I see people do that still it's awesome or and then one one more thing that i want to bring in on this really really quick with the timeline things and all that stuff yeah. is there are books that were written in the past that are associated with the Trump family. I think with, with Trump's son. I have those um, books. With Barron. Mm -hmm. And then I, I've been hearing people say that Trump's a time traveler. Mm -hmm. The reason he's one step ahead of everybody is because he's from the future. Yeah. There's more timeline stuff, right? The Barron Trump, Adventures of Barron Trump. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it a good book? It's crazy. Yeah. It's, um, it's a little hard to follow. But I haven't read the whole thing, but I do have all three of them. And uh, it's it's interesting, to say the least. And what's really funny is that he looks exactly like Trump's son. He looks exactly like Barron. Yeah. The face yeah. looks exactly like Barron. Yeah. And you so. can even see as Barron's getting older, he looks like Trump when he was younger. Yeah. Yeah. And it, there's, uh, there's a video on YouTube about it. Um, with Trump's dad, I believe it was, or grandfather, who apparently, supposedly, according to the video, uh, new Tesla. Yeah, I got the information of time traveling from Tesla. So you've seen that video then? Yeah. Um, who That's knows? That's a whole other timeline thing. We didn't cover half of the stuff that we could have. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's all connected and it's all happening right now. Mm -hmm. You know, no wonder the human mind is just kind of like going, burr, 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 you know, <laughs> frazzling because it's all coming together. Like you said at the very beginning of this video, you know, all those people sitting on the beach and your memory, your thought, your, what came to you was all just bringing timelines together. Yeah. Chills. So cool. Mm -hmm. So cool. It is. Thank you. This is, and I can't believe we've been on here for, well, probably an hour and a half. It's 5.55 right now. Yeah. And I'm, what's really even cooler is you that are watching us are cool. You're amazing. Yep. Yeah. You guys are the wind beneath our wings. <laughs> you guys are the players in our movie. <laughs> but we are the players in yours. <laughs> and vice versa. And you guys are doing good job and the check is in the mail. We're not sure how much you're getting paid to be actors in this great epic film, but the I check more is money. in the mail. <laughs> we haven't been paid enough to be in this movie. I know. No kidding. Right. I'm like, I need to renegotiate that contract. I just heard our rewards are, are coming. They're coming. The checks in rewards the Rewards are in heaven. Rewards are in heaven. Yeah. Okay. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. How do I get there? Done. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, honey, this has been fantastic. Thank you everybody for putting up with our crazy talk about crazy things. And you know what? It's all good. It's all fun. And let us know what you think and make sure you subscribe, share this video. 
Let people know what we're talking about. We're talking about stuff. Get the get the little ring and dingy bell down there and uh, come on back. We yeah. got videos coming out every Thursday ish. 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 <laughs> we'll record it Thursday. Yep. And our lives are the fourth Thursday of every month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So come visit us in the fifth dimension. We'll put a ladder down for you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hopefully this doesn't bring them, uh, does, does bring them, bring, not, not them, bring everyone, all those parts of us in the fifth dimension. Yeah. Because we are here. We are here. We are here. Paul Selig, his teachings. I am here. I am here. I am here. I am here. In the upper room. We are in the upper room. Oh, I like that. Oh, didn't Jesus talk, t- talk, wasn't his teaching about being in the upper rooms or probably in the upper i remember something about that well paul selig yeah he um you know paul selig he he channels mm-hmm. the guides yeah mm-hmm. in the upper room i am here i am here i am here i love it <laughs> it's all good know. it's all good we love right, you peeps. Mwah. we love you peeps love you. Beep, 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 beep. peace Mwah. adios <laughs>